What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about uh, UFC 231 post fight analysis between Holloway versus Ortega. Okay, so before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it helps me grow and uh, yeah, of course I, thank you. So, I made a prediction video uh, a little while ago and I predicted that Ortega was going to take it you know, for uh, various reasons, mainly uh, because I thought he had an advantage on the ground and also because I felt uh, Holloway missed weight uh, and was, uh, had concussion issues, um, you know, prior to that fight, prior to this fight. So I figured, hmm, maybe he's on a downward slope because, you know, I mean, he might have gotten too much damage and the weight cut was really hard for him and maybe... Uh, you know, they weren't doing things quite right, uh, like in his, uh, in his camp, right? So, lo and behold, I was wrong, so I apologize for that, and that's why I'm making this video, because uh, I remember uh, one of the subscribers, he, he mentioned that, you know, like, I was gonna, I was gonna be wrong about it and, and stuff, and so I said that, okay, well, if I'm wrong, I'll make an apology video. Now, I'm not apologizing because uh, I, um... Uh, because of who I chose, right? I'm apologizing because I got it wrong. And one of the mistakes I made is that, you know what? I didn't watch enough um, tape on Holloway and enough tape on Ortega. I just watched highlights and I figured, okay, that was enough. So that was my error there uh, in terms of trying to predict that. But then again, I don't know if I would have done that if I would have changed my mind and take Holloway. Because of the, the, the two things that I mentioned, right, right, where Ortega, no, sorry, not Ortega, Holloway missed his weight at one point in, uh, I think it was for the uh, Khabib fight, or I forgot which fight, but at one point it was a weight issue, and then at another point it was a concussion thing. And actually, I, I, I learned that I wasn't the only one. Like, he actually came in as an underdog, right, when you look at the Vegas odds and stuff like that, because of the two reasons I just mentioned. So anyways, that's, I apologize for making the wrong prediction. But anyways, it's, uh, it's no big deal. And uh, so I wanted to talk a little, little bit about the fight, do a little post-fight uh, uh, analysis here. And <clears throat> it was a really good fight. If you guys haven't watched it, uh, you should go check it out, definitely. It's really worth watching. And now, if you haven't watched it, then maybe this video will uh, give you some insight and, and, and give you a, another lens from which to look at the fight if, when you go watch it, okay? So, this is something I got from uh, John Danaher. For, you, for those of you guys who don't know, John Danaher trains at, uh, he's one of the, the coaches at uh, Henzo Gracie in New York, right? And he, he basically made the death squad. And it's a team of guys of no-gi grapplers, and they're dominating the scene now. They're leg-locking everybody, everybody, everybody. And it's, uh, it's amazing, like, what these guys uh, have been able to do uh, through the, um, the tutelage and the, the, uh, the, the instruction of John Danaher. So, anyways, he's a really big name in grappling. Uh, and a very philo uh, he has, like, a, I think a PhD in, in philosophy. And uh, that's all he does, man. He just uh, teaches people how to grapple and stuff. Um, so anyways, he was on the Joe Rogan podcast and he talked about three things uh, where in his, um, in his mind, if, if a fighter has these three things, can, can control these three aspects of fighting, 95% of the time he'll dominate the fight. So what are those three things? Well, there's setup, direction, and uh, pace. Okay, so if we start with the setup, Setup means where basically you're, cut, you're in front of the guy and let's say you fake, you give a jab and then boom, you set him up for let's say an uppercut or a straight or a head kick, you know, whatever. So you're, you're, you're messing with him, you're fucking with him and then you're setting him up, okay? The person who can do that, well obviously, uh, you know, has an advantage, <clears throat> one, one advantage. The other thing is um, direction. So direction means you, you keep the, the, the fight where you want it to be. So either it's standing up against the cage or on the ground, okay? And then the last thing is the pace, okay? The pace is, uh, it's, it's, I think, self-explanatory in the sense that, well, how fast the fight is going, you know? Your work rate, like, like who's pushing uh, 
who's pushing the fight, who's putting the pressure, you know? And, and obviously the pace has to do with how fast, how consistent, and, and so on. So now when you look at the fight, oh man, whoa! Like, um, everything was controlled in my opinion uh, by Holloway. He controlled the setup, he was setting up uh, Ortega, wow, a lot. And he was landing like crazy, crazy punches and all the time from every angle, even from the breaks, like they're, they're breaking. Uh, as soon as they break, boom, he's hitting them two, three, four times and so on. And so Holloway definitely won there. And then pace-wise, I mean, yeah, like he dominated the pace. He was the one that was just going forward, going forward. And don't get me wrong, Ortega wasn't backing down either. But, you know, like he, the, 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 like Holloway's pace was just too much for Ortega in this fight. Though, uh, I think around the, one of the rounds, Ortega might have won. Because that's when he, yeah, I think it was the third one. And that's where he just um, was able to land a lot more shots. Even hurt Max at one point. So that was pretty wild, man. It's crazy. And okay, so the last thing, direction. Uh, at some point, what? well, not at some point, a few points in the fight, Ortega tried to take him down. He wasn't able to. Um, so because of that, there you go, direction. Max was able to keep the fight standing. And even a few times it did hit the ground, but Max got back up. I mean, it was, um, you know, it was mostly against the fence and all. But, you know, Max just popped back up and, and, and controlled the direction of the fight. So if you were to take these three things, uh, set up. Pace, direction, okay, uh, that's according to Jan, uh, John Danaher, 95% of the time, if you can dominate these three things, woo, you know, so you're, you're going to win 95% of the time. So when you look at, the, if you guys haven't watched the fight or if you rewatch it, you'll see that all three, all three of these things were taken care of by Holloway. Now, I'm excited to watch a rematch eventually. I think that Ortega is going to grow a lot, a lot from this fight. And... Um, Ortega's got skills, he, he has a lot of heart, and uh, he wasn't, uh, he didn't prevail today. So, but I think with time, with more experience, it's gonna, it's gonna be really interesting to see a rematch. I think he'll do much better in a rematch. I don't know if he'll be able to win, because you guys have to remember, as he improves, so does Max Holloway, right? So it's, it's crazy. But another thing I want to point out before I end this video is that You'll notice that if you watch the fight or if you've watched it already, that Ortega wasn't able to take him down, you know? And, and that's the thing sometimes. It, it, was, it was in my mind like the, the, the glaring missing link between, uh, you know, him having success like in this fight was he, he was he was getting dominated on the feet, right? And then he decided, okay, I'm going to take this guy down. But he wasn't able to take him down. And I think that his jiu-jitsu is super sharp, world-class. But his takedowns are up to par. And, and yeah, that's the thing, you know. So a lot of times, even if you're very good on the ground, but if you're not able to control the direction, you can't take it to where you want to go, then, you know, it's, it's a problem. So that, that pretty much canceled out, like, uh, you know, his ground game completely. Like he was, you know, couldn't do anything. And then I want, he, he was, he was try, I think he tried a little bit too late possibly to, to take it to the ground because when he was trying, it was already, he was already getting rocked. Uh, and also like they're, they're already, it was like the second or third round and, and they were sweating. Both guys were like sweating profusely and it's really hard to, to get grips on a guy uh, at that stage of a, in a fight, you know? Like it's possible, but it's, it's fucking hard, man. So... Yeah, my point there was that uh, if any of you guys do any uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, like, I think it's really important to really bring up your takedown game um, as well as uh, your ground game on the ground. Because if you can't take the guy down, you know, then you can't, you can't use your, uh, your skills on the ground, right? So, you know, and, and it's, it's two different, um, how do you say it? It's two different disciplines you know the the discipline of taking someone to the ground you know take down the takedown arts okay such as judo uh wrestling sambo you know um okay i'm not gonna say sumo because sumo they're just throwing them out of the ring <laughs> but you, you have to keep that up to par uh i know this has nothing to do well it does have to do with the fight but what i'm saying is that if you develop a really strong uh, ground game 
Okay, just make sure that you keep, you know, your 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 takedown game. And, and it doesn't mean that you have to have like a million techniques, okay? It means that you have to have at least, um, in my opinion, uh, one technique throwing the guy forward, backwards, and maybe one to the side where you're like, wow, you're just, you know, slamming him laterally, okay? So if you could just get three techniques that you're really, really sharp at, and then you could do all kinds of setups just to get to those three techniques depending on the position, like you have to keep it up there so that, you know, that way you're able to uh, take the fight to the ground if you want to. And I know it's easier said than done uh, in, in the case of uh, or, uh, Holloway versus Ortega, but hey man, nothing's easy. Fighting is, is uh, it's hard. Okay guys, so this video uh, is about 10 minutes long now, so I don't wanna keep you guys, but I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification button, and uh, share, share this video if you have somebody who um, you know would benefit from it or would have fun listening to it. And so, in the comments, yeah, like tell me what you guys think. Am I right, am I wrong, uh, why, and uh, yeah, so we could talk about this and, 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 and argue in a respectful way, of course, uh, about what's, uh, what happened, and uh, yep, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.